So I'm here in the water cube in Stockholm uh, with Anshuman. Anshuman, could you show your badge, please? Thank you very much. So please, Anshuman, introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Hi, Dipan. I'm Anshuman. I'm from uh, the Energy and Resources Institute, Delhi, in India. Yeah. I'm here uh, kind of talking about the opportunities one can have to save and recycle wastewater that's otherwise going waste into the drains, especially in uh, the railway sector. Oh. Uh, there's a huge opportunity to you know recycle and reuse the water that is mm -hmm. otherwise going waste. And uh, that's not only about one particular railway station. India has a huge network, one of the largest oh, network yeah. of uh, railways. And recycling and reusing that water can you know save huge amount of water, as well as there are a lot of cost benefit analysis and savings on the fresh water which mm -hmm. we are using. So that's the uh, uh, you know, topic I had been talking about and I think that's a very important you know, issue of recycling mm -hmm. wastewater. And so could you briefly explain a little bit, just summary on how you want to recycle this wastewater? I mean, uh, what, what's the plan? Uh, it's very simple at the moment because uh, you know, the kind of supply that we have, it's a mixed supply. It's just one supply which comes at the railway station, used simultaneously for drinking as well as for washing purposes. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as, you know, accumulating that water into collecting that water that is otherwise going waste mm -hmm. and then kind of reusing after a certain amount of treatment uh, for uh, reusing again for that washing. And you can achieve as much as like six to seven cycles of concentration as well as around 80% of recycling of water. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge amount and pure potential to recycle lot. water. Yeah. And at the moment it just drains away. At the moment it's just draining away. So you have you know, kind of uh, opportunity to recycle. That's the thing I'm kind of, but I think I would also want to talk about something, you know, in the water sector that we are, you know, especially in the water utilities in India, uh, there's a huge scope of saving water through the water audits actually. Yeah. At the moment they're like, water audits are not very much uh, you know, prevalent as a routine practice, a standard practices in our uh, supply and distribution system. Yeah. If we were to really assess what uh, we can save and do about, probably we should take the water audits on a regular manner. And that can give us, you know, what is the real situation of what we are using and what we can actually recycle and mm -hmm. also save the water that is, uh, that is otherwise going as UFWs, unaccounted for water. Okay. which is quite high in uh, as an average if you take in India, okay. something around uh, 30 to 50 percent. Yeah. So there are huge opportunities and I think uh, we can uh, do a lot more to, you know, in a very joint manner, mm -hmm. I think. And everybody has to play a role, maybe government, people, yeah. as well as the, you know, uh, uh, NGOs. Yeah, definitely. Right. So as a, as a closing statement, uh, water, what's it all about in your experience? Uh, what, what does that mean to you and, and how should we move forward from here? Water is everything. It's your religion, it's your politics, it's your resource, it's your uh, way to live life, it's your source of life. So you have to integrate all these aspects to deal with it. So please know, it, know about it and how we can say you can contribute. So right. take an action and take an action now. Great. Thanks a lot for this interview. Hope you have a great uh, week as well. Thank you very much. Thanks.